All right, turn it over in three, two, one, go. Hi there, chickens. I'm so glad you stumbled upon this here channel. I'm Vanilla Chief, or Dr. Vanilla, in today's video because today we are scientists, and you're now watching Skill Sanctum. Alright, before I start blabbing my yapper about why I made this video, what you need for this experiment, and the precautions you should take, if you're just here to watch coke bottles take off like rockets, go ahead and fast forward about 3 minutes to get to the real action of this video. But if you would like to listen to the full story, sit back, relax, and enjoy every moment. Now you've probably seen or heard of the exploding butane coke rockets at some point. If not, just look it up and there are tons of crazy videos all over YouTube. It's been done by multiple channels. Apparently by adding butane to your average bottle of soda like coke and then turning the bottle upside down, you will witness a radical explosion. You will get a homemade rocket. So after witnessing multiple demonstrations, I figured this would be an exciting experiment to try on my own and look into the science of it for myself. One thing we will be doing differently with this experiment is not only are we using regular coke, we're also gonna try it with diet coke and see if that makes a difference in the reaction that we get. Based on some of the videos I've seen, warmer soda typically explodes more than it does when it's cold. The coke bottles I'm using were at room temperature when I grabbed them, but after being in the hot Florida sun for a few minutes, I'm sure they were a lot warmer when they actually exploded. Also remember, we are using butane and not propane like some people think. You may hear some people say, Oh, well I can do it with propane. But butane probably works the best in my opinion, or in just fact in general. I'm not gonna try and tell you not to do this at home because we both know you're just gonna do whatever you want, no matter what I tell you. But I will say if you do try this at home, do use caution because butane is very flammable and ironically very cold at the same time. So like you could get frostbite if it touches your skin. So use caution. Anyway, let's go over real quick what you will need for this experiment. Obviously, you'll need butane because I've said it like a thousand times. It typically comes in a canister like this. You can get it from your local hardware store or from wherever, really. I got this can from uh, Walmart for like $5, so super cheap and convenient. You'll also need a bottle of soda. It doesn't matter what size or what kind of soda. I use Coca-Cola. This is a Dr. Pepper bottle. It's very large. It's flat and almost out, but I needed some kind of demonstration to use. It doesn't have to be Coke, but I typically use Coke because that's my brand, baby. Some people even say you can do this with water, but soda works the best because of the carbonation that it has. It adds to the reaction. You'll need a pair of pliers or something to open the canister valve with to pour the butane into your bottle of soda. I just used a fork as you'll see later in this video because I could not find any pliers. Alrighty chickens, let's get our stuff together and begin discovering, shall we? Also chickens make sure you use proper protective equipment when using when using butane because this is very flammable and ironically very cold at the same time. First up, let's try it with Coca-Cola. Let's see what happens.
we got our Coca-Cola and we got our butane. Now let's pour the butane into the Coca-Cola and see what happens. Alright, we tried our original Coke, now let's try it with our Diet Coke and let's see what happens. That was radical. That was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Sometimes you see someone else do these experiments and then when you try them at home, they completely blow up in your face and they fail. But this one, this one actually works chickens. I would advise you to try this one at home. All right, I got a couple more bottles. We can try at a closer angle so we can see the reaction with a bit more detail. First up, we have our regular Coke, and I'm actually gonna take the labels off so we can see the action a bit more clearly. All right, chickens, we're gonna try it now with the Diet Coke. This time, I'm gonna try to keep my hand out of the shot so you can see the action. Well, comparing the regular Coke versus the Diet Coke, I'd say their reactions were pretty close. If I did have to choose, I think I would lean more towards the Diet Coke having a stronger reaction than the regular Coke, which is surprising and interesting. I did do some research on the science behind this reaction, so for all you nerds, Here's why butane makes coke explode. So there's actually quite a bit happening with this experiment. For one, butane is weird. It's super lightweight and has a boiling point of 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius for all you Canadians and Australians and pretty much anyone else in the world besides people who live in America. Basically, butane boils at the temperature that water freezes. So because butane is so thin and has such a low boiling point, it is naturally a gas at room temperature and at atmospheric pressure, but it is easily liquefied at colder temperatures and when slightly pressurized, which is why butane is a liquid in its canister. But as soon as it is released into a wild environment, like say the smoldering heat of Florida, 
it immediately begins evaporating and even boiling, which explains the gas oozing out of the Coke bottle. And because butane is lighter than Coke and even water, it sits at the top of the liquid in a thin isolated layer. This is because butane has less atoms that are dispersed throughout itself quite thinly compared to other liquids like Coke, which has its atoms more compacted and held closer together. Imagine trying to put a couple of beads on top of a glass of dense sand. Obviously the beads are not going to sink to the bottom of the glass or even mix with the sand. The two substances simply do not naturally interact with one another without some kind of external manipulation. Now for the main question, why does the bottle take off like a rocket when you turn it upside down? Well I've done the research and I've heard many theories but most scientists tend to agree that this reaction is not due to so much chemistry but more so due to physics. When the bottle is held right side up, the little amount of gas evaporating from the butane is easily able to escape out of the opening of the top of the bottle. But when you turn the bottle upside down, the butane then mixes with that top layer of the warm Coca-Cola, which vaporizes and even boils the butane into clouds of pressurized rising gas desperately looking for a way to escape. The butane then violently jets the Coke out of the bottle. And because the Coca-Cola is a liquid mass, it does produce enough pressure to shoot the bottle off like a rocket, leaving behind nothing but a cloud of gas and a sugary coated human. The combination of the soda just adds to the pressure within the bottle, giving us a stronger reaction. And the warmer your soda is, the faster the butane will boil. Also, one quick little tidbit, you might have noticed a difference in the appearance of the butane I used in some of the bottles. Well, you've got a sharp eye, chicken. So for the first two bottles, I used Ronson butane, and then for the second two bottles, I used Coleman butane. This is because I ran out of butane after the first two bottles I used and I had to go to Walmart and buy some more. But they were out of the Ronson brand that I was using so I had to settle for the Coleman brand. Lesson learned. I'm not trying to pick favorites, but Ronson is better than Coleman, at least for this experiment. I didn't notice Ronson having much of an odor, but the Coleman butane had an awful odor. It wasn't as isolated from the soda, and I even noticed the reaction wasn't as strong as the Ronson brand. So for future reference, get the Ronson brand of butane and not the Coleman brand, simply because the Ronson brand will work better. Both brands will work, but the Ronson will do a better job in my opinion. Well chickens, this has been a fun and exciting learning experience. I hope your skills have been enhanced, your wisdom deepened, and your curiosity tickled. <laughs> Once again, I'm Dr. Vanilla, and you just watched an episode of Skill Sanctum. See you in the next video.